Yep, man, did I score today. I've got one for uh, DRH. And I've got one for B. Anderson. These were both put on the side of the road. And cosmetically, they are in very, very, very good condition. This is, you know, your typical 19... 65-ish or thereabouts a Zenith. But this TV didn't just have the round screen, but it had clipped onto the back of it the uh, Space Command 400 series remote control, which unfortunately isn't working right now. It doesn't respond to it. The only way I could test these is to use a VCR And then this is more of a B. Anderson style. He likes the black and white era. It's a Blondie Magnavox. This one, the tuner, isn't working. I can't get a signal to go through it. It's pretty cold, so I used the salamander, and I got the inside of the TVs good and warm before plugging them in. So that they wouldn't blow up or break anything. It amazes me the inside of this TV is very, very clean. In very good condition, there's no rust. Cabinet's nice. The Zenith. Dusty, but in very good condition. And like my RCA, it's got the huge neck on the picture tube. Can't see the number on the picture tube, though. The thing is, there's no PVA fungus or delamination on this TV. It's in real good condition. The cabinet's nice, too. There's the back of the Zenith set. Remote control override. Remote control amplifier on off switch. It's a service saver. Back of the old Magnavox. The uh, plastic cap thing was broke, and I was so afraid the picture tube would be broken too, but it wasn't. The socket does wobble. I'll put some silicone around it to stabilize it. Magnavox's seal of quality. Three years of free service. Full year warranty on all tubes and parts. Ironically, the Zenith is in the Magnavox style cabinet. Looks like a Magnavox TV, doesn't it? Like Jason Lava's uh, stereo. I'm going to close the door. I have the TV on. That's as bright as I can get it. And I have a video playing. I can't get any brightness. But for something that was found in the trash, it is alive. So it is restorable.
a grave digger, and we'll run it out of cars. Now, you just see a short period of time between this round and the winner of this round advancing on to the semifinals. Jim Miller versus Jim Cramer in a pair of board shots. Both of them stayed very carefully. Unfortunately, the remote's not working. Who's it gonna be? It's the whole shot. This will be a really nice TV to restore. I can see it gets a great picture. Okay, I'm going to plug in the mega box again. I did warm these up with a salamander so that they wouldn't crack because it's about 25 degrees out. The tubes glow very nicely in this TV, but unfortunately I can't get any signal through it. I love the sounds it makes when it warms up. It's got raster. Especially when you crackle the brightness control. So there's my find. They were free. I especially like this Zenith with the Space Command. I'm not going to do any more with these till summer. I just wanted to see that they were alive. Especially this one because this one will be a beautiful TV. And I know nobody really cares for picture tubes anymore. But I think down the road in the future when they're all long gone there'll be a certain number of people that will kind of miss them and it'll be kind of like a retro thing that like any other antique definitely kind of Rube Goldberg having all this hardware to do something so simple as make a picture still can't believe how clean this thing is in here it looks like brand new